Well, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be giving a little bit of a different kind of video. Um, if you didn't know, today will probably be my 222nd video because currently on my channel I've got 221. And for the 222nd video, I wanted to do something a little special. If you didn't know, two is my favorite number. So the significance of this episode to me is that you have two twos, two times. So I just kind of wanted to go over how my whole channel has been over the last, I want to say, I think I've been doing this maybe two, three years. So obviously, if you go on my channel here, we've I've got a lot. There's a lot of videos. We have 457 beautiful people who stuck along for the ride. We've had a lot of times. We've had our some of our most popular things like the Five Nights at Freddy's. We've had shorts with cats and descended Paimon. And I even have a few friends who I've had along the way too. Um, I kind of wanted to just say thank you to all of them. Um, I don't have everyone on here because not everyone has a YouTube channel that I can find yet. But I'll throw them in here as well because there's people on Twitch. Um... I want to say thank you to Yuki Deo. She was a VTuber who helped me sort of visualize what I wanted to do for content. Um, it's been a very long time since either of us have talked. They kind of disappeared, so I don't know quite what happened. But they were a great friend who I used to make videos and me and her would talk with each other about how we make videos. And that really helped me a lot through my journey. Um, there's a few other people as well. Um, Sudden, obviously, he's been on the channel before. He is a fellow YouTuber who I met, I think, a year ago in VR chat. And we had fun making videos together a few times. Um, it's kind of hard for us to play because a lot of the times, love you, David, but you don't really respond most of the time. <laughs> Just a friendly jab at you there. But whenever we do play, usually we have a lot of fun. And he was very welcoming to me and introduced me to his friends and his community. You've probably seen a few of them in some of the Demon Souls videos um, that I uploaded this year. Um, we also have, I want to say, probably the biggest inspirations to me would be Kagilena, Srami, Light the Medic, and Daichi. Um, there's also Korra too. Don't forget Korra. Um, they all have been very welcoming to me. I've had a great time in their community. Kage has been very nice to me, and we even played games at one point. We even got to collab once when we played Lethal Company, and it was a lot of fun. I hope that someday we can play some more. I know recently we had mentioned it in a chat and live stream, but... Hopefully we can play together again sometime because I had a lot of fun. And I really look up to Kage and Surami and Light and Daichi and Korra because really they're the core people who made me really want to start streaming seriously and tried to start taking steps towards it to further my career. So I really want to give a big thank you to all of them. Surami has helped me out a lot. I want to say thank you because you helped me with getting my stream stuff set up and it meant a lot to me. I've been having a lot of fun streaming lately and I don't think it would have been possible if you weren't there to help teach me these things. So I really want to say thank you. I'm very grateful to you. And someday in the future, I'll find a way to repay your kindness. So I haven't been able to talk or meet with Daichi very much, but from the few small conversations we've had, we've been pretty friendly towards each other. Daichi might even be helping me with a project from stream soon. So Daichi's right here as well. You should go check him out. He's pretty cool. He's a really nice guy. He's been very kind to me. Light the Medic is also another one from the group who I feel has been very kind as well. I've popped into stream a few times and they've always welcomed me. They've also been along the ride for things like uh, Chili de Corca, obviously, so... I just want to give a shout out to them as well, because they really deserve it. They've been very kind to me, and I think kindness deserves kindness back towards them. 
So if you would, check out these guys as well. Um, Cerami, we also played games during Pal World, I think. And she has been super supportive. Um, I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, Cerami, I just want to say a really big thank you to you. To this year, I tried to do more streaming, and you helped me set everything up. And it meant a lot to me. I have been able to stream more. Obviously, from up here, we've had three streams. There's actually a fourth one on the way, too, that has already happened. But it's thanks to you, Srami, that I was able to start streaming. Because I didn't know I was capable of doing anything with how awful my internet is. So that's something where I just really want to say thank you for. Um, that and... You guys have just been very supportive on my first stream that I tried to do on Twitch. Um, not the very first one I did, the coming back one I did this year. You guys were all there to support me, and it meant a lot to me. Um, obviously, if you've seen the channel lately, I have things like clips from their streams where I've been trying to promote them as well. Um, <clears throat> but really, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone, my friends, Anyone who watches this, I know there's not a lot of people nowadays, but anyone who stops by, I thank you. And I want to continue to try to keep growing. Um, obviously, I don't do this for money or anything. I am not eligible for anything like that. Right now, I just make videos because it's fun to make it. It's interesting because I can make a video recording a game and look back on it... <laughs> Two years later now, like, if we go to my videos, I think, I think my very first things were Genshin Impact, if I remember correctly, that and um, Fairy Fencer F. And we've come a long way since then. We've played a lot of games. I used to just do a bunch of Genshin rolls, where I'd get a uh, bunch of gift cards from things like um, Fetch, from scanning receipts, and I just use it to do rolls. Played Fairy Fencer F, probably my old time favorite game. From there, I just kind of got started with my YouTube stuff, doing FNAF, Lego. I really need to do more Lego, and all sorts of stuff. And the whole time, I've had my ups and downs. I think it was around this era here where I played Soul Hackers. I found out my quality was awful. And I fixed that eventually. I think it wasn't until after... I want to say... I think it was after Pac-Man that I realized, and I think I stepped up my quality. But, yeah, I just wanted to go back over things. We've done a lot, like Code Vein, Wally, -E, Spider-Man, all sorts of stuff. And I know Wally -E was a favorite for quite a while for some of the videos. I think it was down here, was probably the first time that Wally picked up, maybe. And it was just, oh, that was when Wally really picked up, actually, it was playing the infuriating PS3 version. But yeah, if you've noticed, I've got like a lot of older games on my channel, like Wally -E and Tron and all sorts of stuff. And that's what I kind of plan to do. I kind of like retro games. I'm going to be leaning into some of my old childhood games more soon. Things like um, all the PlayStation 2 games I used to play. So as far as the channel is going to go, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. It doesn't matter what happens. I'll always keep making stuff. And I know a lot of people this year especially have been quitting YouTube, like MetPat, and there's a giant list I'm sure you could find. There's been quite a few, and... I don't ever really want to be in a situation like that. I will always leave the door open. So with that, if you guys didn't know, I now have a Twitch that I've been using more of. And for the Twitch channel, I'm going to be playing all sorts of games. I might be turning to Twitch soon to just do everything here and upload the VODs because I'd rather have a live chat where I can interact with the viewers. It'd be more fun. You guys could get to know me better. And there's a lot of laughs to be had. So 
If you guys ever want to come see me while I'm live, you can do it here at Twitch with sugar underscore cane2. But with that, we do a lot of games here. So if you guys ever want to come by, come flood this channel if you want to. Right now, we're pretty small since I'm just starting on Twitch, but I'd appreciate anyone who'd stop by. But again, this is just, it, I can't believe I've been on YouTube for two years. <laughs> it's been quite a long time, and I've enjoyed pretty much every second of it. I get to make games, I get to play games that I do and record them. It's fun. And it's kind of like a record, so like maybe someday when I'm older, maybe I'll have kids or something eventually. My kids can go back and see how I was when I was younger and see the games I played. So it's something to always look at when you make things. You never know who's going to see it down the line. But I'm having a really hard time finding words. I'm pretty speechless on what to say. Uh, Again, I just want to say thank you to everyone, to Kage, Rami, Sudden, um, everyone, because they've been very helpful to me. A lot of them have taught me a lot, um, along with maybe I brought some light. So hopefully I get to interact with them more in the future. I look forward to it. And as always, thank you guys for stopping by for my 222nd video. Um, I don't know what we will do for a next milestone. I guess maybe if we hit um, 2,222, maybe I'll make another video like this then. But with that, if you guys would, stop by Twitch, subscribe on YouTube if you haven't. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace.